Greetings family, we are here at Kunta Kente Island, formerly known as James Island. And yes family, we're here in the Gambia and we just sailed down the Gambian River. So we're here to connect you with this part of the Roots and Culture Tour. As our boat is pulling in, we're going to connect our tour guide. And our tour guide here is going to give us a nice history of the island. So yes, yeah, so let's uh, let's get docked and come on down, take some pictures. Let's check out the island and let's get into the history. That's what we do, family. Yes, my brothers, yes, my brothers. Yes, my brothers, how are everybody feeling? Welcome to the Gambia. Welcome to James Island. Welcome to Kunta Kente Island, as I say, formerly known as James Island. Welcome to the motherland. Appreciate you, brothers. All right, family, welcome to Kunta Kente Island. And, and we are going to connect you with this Roots and Culture Tour. And, family, this is a part of our historical series dealing with the transatlantic European slave trade. So which one of you guys are a tour guide? Yes, I'm looking for our tour guide. Our tour guide is here. Excuse me? here. Where is he at? This one is the tour guide. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Greetings, greetings, Akubi. How you feeling? So yes family, Bomani Tamba live here in the flesh. And this is our special red Africa for the Africans uh, t-shirt. He's the CEO and this is... How's it going brother? Yeah. So we got our good brothers here that, that's going to show us around the island. How are you? Yes, my brother, doing well. We're ready for the history and the, the culture to the highest level. Yeah. Now, I want you to get into it nice and deep so we can get the full elements of what happened to our, our ancestors during the transatlantic European slave trade here in James Island. I know you're the man that's going to deliver all of it, so I'm just here to, for us to document it and connect that energy. Everybody come here, please. Don't call any monkeys, please come down here, please. Come closer. All the human beings come around. 
No start jumping, please. Come around here. So come here. One step to another and tell us the history of the island and what has been happening for centuries for more than 400 years ago the in and out of the Europeans into this land and how they were moving so gentlemen what's your name please my name is Mamad. Mamadou Njai. his name is Mamadou Njai so he's living within this vicinity here in the, uh, the village of Kunta Kinte so he's there he's our tour guide who will be within the island or everywhere we go, he'll tell us something about it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask him and try to make sure that when he's explaining, you listen carefully. Then when he finishes, please, if you want to ask any question, you can ask. So, Bomami, you are welcome to the island. And here is Mamoru Njai. He's our tour guy. You're welcome. Thank you very much, guys. You're all welcome to this uh, great land of the Gambia. And we cannot talk about the importance of the country without talking this island. Because here was the place where slaves would be kept well before they would leave the uh, new, before they would leave the island here to the new world. So all the slaves would be guarded here for a couple of two weeks. After then the ship would come and they would be loaded into the ship like sardines and then transported to the uh, America where they would be sold to uh, different plantations. So we can go under the hut here and I'll give you like more information about the fort and about the like the map of the fort right training. now you are from Banjul then you come with your boat to James Fort we are here in James Fort right now and James Fort is in the middle of the river Gambia and it divides the river of the Gambia divides the country into two halves as you can see that's the north bank of the river and here is the south bank of the river why was the island so important for the uh, uh, Portuguese because the Portuguese were the first people that came here in the 15th century but then their uh, mission was not like uh, slavery and slave trade. What they, the mission was first was like when they came here, they were uh, teaching our people how to become good Christian missionaries. But then this already find that the plantation life have already started in America. So when the king, our king gave uh, 50 people to those Portuguese for them to be teaching them like how to become these good Christian missionaries. And they promised our king that after that they were going to send them back to Africa and these people will be teaching like our own people how to become good Christians. But then when these 50 people were taken, it already find the plantation life have already started. By that time, the Red Indians were the people working on the plantation. But then those people were not very strong enough. So when those 50 people uh, were taken, so the king demanded that let me have those 50 Africans and do experiment on them to see whether they can be able to uh, cope with this climatic condition. So when those uh, 50 people were taken to the uh, plantation, those people did great. This is the time the Portuguese started to come into Africa here and capturing people forcefully into slavery. And they have three forms of uh, kidnapping people into slavery. The first is barter. Barter is like uh, what the Portuguese normally do is like when they are coming from America, coming to Africa, they will bring uh, products like gold, gold powder, meal, tobacco, and etc. These are the items that they use to escape with our local people. And our people will give them war prisoners and they will bring them into the island here as slaves. Two is red. Red is the, because red is the way like uh, in the days of slavery, we were living like in hot houses like this. So what the Portuguese normally do is like they will wait till when it's late night, they will go into the village and set the house on fire. So people will be running out for their safety and they will capture all the family and put them into slavery. Uh, third was uh, kidnap. Kidnap was the form, form like the kid was uh, captured into slavery because by that time we don't have this Western education in the Gambia here and in Africa in general. Because what we normally do is like people would be, if you are a boy, you would be taken to the forest and you would be circumcised. This is where you would teach like good morals and good behaviors on how to talk to elderly people in the community. So this was what Kunta was facing at the age of seven to the forest to, uh, to be circumcised. During those days, like if you are circumcised, if you don't cry, you 
you are given the title the warrior among all the friends of Kunda that went to the forest Kunda was the only person that uh, stood laughing because by that time when you are circumcised there is no uh, painkillers for the pain so Kunda was the only person that stood laughing and he was given the title the Mandinka warrior so when he was located he come back home because by that time we used to cook with this firewood so the monk of Kunda asked Kunda to go to the forest and find firewood for him so when Kunda go to the forest to find firewood this is the time he met along the Portuguese so his friends tell him Kunda let's run because we have never seen such type of people here and we don't know what their mission is so let's uh, start to run back home but then what Kunda tell them was that if any of you want to run you can go ahead and run but for me I am never going to run from this Portuguese I will stay here and know what is their mission in this forest here as you all know Kunda was uh, somebody that time himself as a warrior but as you all know like one man cannot find a dozen so Kunda was uh, overpowered and got into the island here for two weeks then he was later transported to America where he was sent to Annapolis in Virginia so you can come under the hot house here and I show you like the model of the fort if you have any question also you can ask Doctors, I told you when he came, for, he was a doctor. He was the first guy to be in the room. Alright, this is just to show you like the model of the fort. But then today we are not uh, very, very lucky because all this side of the fort is uh, lost away in the water now. All this part is in the water because of erosion. That's why we are believing like if anything is not done to protect the island against erosion, 20 years to come, the new generation will not be able to see this fort. And in the fort here, we are standing here right now. These are bastions. Bastions are the places where these Portuguese are placed cannons to make sure that they defend the island against any person that is coming to attack the fort. So below these bastions is where we have these terrible uh, dungeons called the underground prison. Because most of the people, if they are captured into slavery, they don't want to be uh, taken into slavery. So those type of people, they, when they are brought into the island here, they try to fight their European masters just to make sure they free themselves from slavery. But at the end of the day, those were the people that were regarded as the aggressive ones. And those were the people that were uh, kept on these small dungeons for two weeks. And they only come close contact to them on two occasions. That is if they are bringing them in the dungeon and if they finally live in the fort. And in the dungeon there, 20 people would be kept in that small room with chains and, 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 and cuffs on their hands and legs. And the food would be passed through them in, in, the, in a small window where they will pass the food through them. So this busting here is the one you are seeing here right now. This other one is at the other side there. We are going to visit there. This one is the one you are seeing here with the light down. And this other one is at the other side over there. So be, 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 between these two uh, bastions is where we have the system. The system is the place where the Portuguese used to uh, kept water for the slaves. Because uh, if you bring people here, there is a need for you to give them water. So the water 